Hey there! The purpose of this video is to show you how to group your keywords using AdWords Editor. So to begin, let me just start out by explaining the concept. So I have went out, I got a bunch of keywords, I dumped them into one group, and I called that group 0000. So the reason I call it 000 is because that group will always stay at the top of this ad group list when I'm grouping my keywords. Now this will make a little bit more sense once I get into it. So I took all my keywords, I dumped them into one group, and now I have to group these keywords into common themes. In other words, I have to group them into ad groups. Now the whole reason you want to group keywords into ad groups is so you can write specific ads that talk to that specific audience looking for those keywords. So in other words, you want to make the ads as relevant as possible to the keywords. There's several reasons. For one, it makes the ads more relevant to the keywords, but two, I mean, it'll look more relevant in search engine results when people look for, for example, graduation gifts. If your ad has graduation gifts in it, then it'll look more relevant. People will click it more. You'll get a higher click-through rate, um, and hopefully you have a landing page that also speaks to that common theme, such as graduation gifts. So let's just get started. The concept is simple. You just start typing in up here, let's look for birthday. So really, it's, this is really easy. Type in birthday, you hit control A, which selects everything. Hit control X, go to the ad groups tab, hit add ad group. We're gonna call this ad group birthday. You select it, and then you hit control V to paste your birthday keywords within the birthday ad group. Then you go back to that 000 ad group and start over. So I see another common theme, anniversary. Here's our anniversary keywords. Cut them, create an anniversary ad group, and then paste them into the anniversary ad group. And it's really that easy. So the whole goal, the point, what you're trying to accomplish is weeding this list down until you've grouped all the keywords into sensible, logical, common themes. Now, what not, it's not always going to be easy because, I mean, this is a small list. I've grouped tens of thousands of keywords. So doing this does take a lot of time. And you have to think about how am I going to group my keywords. Valentine's, for example, right there. One way you can speed up this process is you open up notepad file and you start typing in keyword themes that you can see. So we have communion, we have graduation, we have wedding. So let's type those in. Wedding. And what I do with this list is I literally just copy it and then with the 000, 000, 000, 000 ad group selected, go up to tools, hit keyword grouper. In the generate common terms area, you paste in the keyword groupings that you just wrote out in your notepad file, hit next. And what it'll do is it'll go through your list and it will group them based on the keywords that you put in that notepad file. Then you hit finish and it create a bunch of new groups. So we have Easter, Father's Day, Gift Basket, Funny, Golf, and you get the idea. You go back to your keyword list that you're sorting and you keep going. So you keep doing this until you have grouped all your keywords manually, and that's really all there is to it. It's a lot of time, it's a lot of labor, it takes a lot of discipline, and the whole reason you're doing it, remember, is so you can write specific ads to that specific group. So this ad, for example, baby shower gifts, you could write a new ad, it says baby shower gift ideas, huge selection of baby shower gifts, for example. Visit now for baby shower gifts, exclamation point, you're done. So, do you see the concept here? The keywords all have baby shower in them, and these are all gift related. 
and if our ad says baby shower gifts all over it, it's going to look extremely relevant when somebody goes to Google, they type in baby shower gift ideas, baby shower gifts for mom, for example. Um, it's, your ad's going to get a higher click-through rate because it looks relevant. Now, last thing is, hopefully you have a good landing page that speaks to baby shower gifts. If you do, conversions will be higher, and you can really create highly targeted campaigns manually using AdWords Editor. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching.